evening, board. My name is Eric Windheim. I'm a building biologist and an electromagnetic radiation specialist. And I want to talk to you briefly about some happy Wi-Fi stories. I'm going to have a happy ending to this. Um, these are success stories I've had with clients. And I want to talk to you about Dr. Kelly Sutton, who's a holistic MD in Fair Oaks. She saw one of my EMF awareness seminars. She had me do one for her office staff. A few months later, she thought it might be good for me to check out her office, but she didn't think that anything possibly could be wrong. The well, first thing we found out that she had a very powerful Wi-Fi two feet from the receptionist. And so we shielded that. We just put it in an enclosure and aimed it out the wall. And the receptionist says, oh my gosh, I'm starting to feel better, but we tested it. There's still Wi-Fi coming through the wall from the secretary in the other office. So we put up inexpensive but highly effective reflective foil. And three times before I could pack up my instruments and leave, this, the receptionist said, I'm feeling better already. I don't have pain and cramps in my neck. A week later, I get a call from the doctor. She's feeling better, and the other doctor, Dr. Bear, in the office are feeling better. Now, this is the opinion of a medical doctor. So Dr. Kelly Sutton said, come to my house. And we identified the Wi-Fi, and we turned it off at night. She's got a roommate, so it has to be on during the daytime. She's sleeping better at home. So now I've helped a medical doctor at home and in her office. The same thing goes for Dr. Julie Y. Schatzel, whose husband is a neurologist. They live in Gold River. She called me out to her house. She had breathing problems and sleeping problems and thought it was just old age. And I said, Julie, you're 20 years younger than me. Um, we turned off the Wi-Fi. We gave one of the, one of the children had a RF shielding canopy over the bed. She's sleeping better. She's feeling better. Now I want to talk to you about a really sad case. That's Brian and his son. They live down in Vallejo. I did an EMF awareness seminar for the Weston A. Price Foundation down in uh, Vacaville. And Brian was there. A month later, he calls up and said, Eric, my son has been pulled out of high school, and he's been required to see a behavioral psychologist. Please come and see if you can find out what's going on. And the first thing I found when I went into the house was one of these three antenna Wi-Fi directly underneath his son's bed. And I said, that has got to go completely out of the house or to the other end of the house. About 20 seconds, sir. And Brian wrote me back a couple of weeks ago. It's on my website. And he says, thank you, Eric. Since we followed most of your suggestions, all of my son's problems have gone away. That's just too bad that people have to hit themselves in the head with a hammer to find out how good it feels when they stop. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, Dwayne Wildy. Who did you yield your time to? Uh, 